Hey everyone, this is Dylan. Hi, hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something extra fun as we are going to be taking the Cinderella American Girl Playline doll out of her day cleaning dress rags, whatever you want to call it, you know. In my realm, it's the rags dress, but hey, you know, we all have different names for that. <laughs> and we will be putting on Cinderella's pink uh, ball gown. Um, they are calling this the American Girl Disney Princess Cinderella original ball gown because this is the ball gown that she was going to wear but of course was destroyed by her evil stepsisters. So I love that they are calling it the original one. You know, we usually just call it the pink dress <laughs> and accessories. There are all kinds of beautiful things here that I'm so excited to look at and put on this Cinderella doll. So if you have missed my other reviews of this doll, I did a review of the doll in the blue dress the blue ball gown then I did a review of her in the cleaning outfit and today's agenda is the pink dress so if you've missed those make sure you check those out on my channel or in my playlist under the American Girl doll playlist okay so let's just jump right in so first off, I just want to say that the American Girl uh, original ball gown comes with so many beautiful things. So of course it comes with the pink dress and uh, you can see there's really beautiful fabrics and details on there that I'm excited to look at. Of course, there is a sewing book that has photos of Cinderella's mother's gown there. Um, you know, which is very sentimental. I think that it was her mother's and then they ripped it off of her. It's just really psychologically tormenting. <laughs> there is a, um, a measuring tape and scissors for sewing. She has a pink bow for her hair. The, the beads, you know, the, the beads that the stepmother comments on there in the film. And then pink shoes with uh, pink bows. It's so gorgeous and it comes in just a little pizza box it looks like like there's a personal pizza in there uh, and then there is the beautiful image of Cinderella and Disney American Girl. The only thing that's holding this in is this just little sticker here so I just need to remove that and that way we can uh, unveil everything that's in the box. So I took the sticky off and as you can see it leaves little to no marking on there, maybe just a little bit, um, but it, this is actually very nice for your collection just to keep this because it's so beautiful. Um, and everything that was uh, in the cleaning dress was absolutely beautiful, I mean, and they had this like folded up so nicely, just don't want to rip the box or anything. These things are packed very tightly. Um, so basically, it's all wrapped up like in tissue paper that is uh, printed with the Disney and American Girl logo, which is, of course, gorgeous, you know, <laughs> just because uh, this is an amazing collab. I expect them to make more things in the future just because this is such a success. So, but I'm going to try to keep the paper in there as neatly as possible just because there's no way that I'm going to be able to recreate that. But, oh my gosh, look. That is just stunning. So we cannot wait to get this on the doll. So first, let's just take everything out of this little pizza pan box from the uh, the pink accessory set. And then of course we have to uh, take the cleaning dress off of the doll. So first we have the pink original ball gown. And this is just beautiful. I mean, look at that. Gorgeous. So there's like a white ruffle around the top. Uh, I love the pink bow in the middle. Of course, there's some like trim. It's like a nice pink color. The pink dress itself is just very, very uh, bubblegum and I love it. It's straight from the film. Love that. And down here, um, the Victorian kind of uh, emphasis on the bows and the ruffles. It's just, oh, it's beautiful. You know, maybe a little pre-Victorian, but you know, 18th century, gorgeous. I love that. And look at the ruffles, you know, the bows go all the way around and onto the back. Beautiful, beautiful. It's such a shame she couldn't wear this to the ball just because <laughs> they were jealous of it. So, and this is, uh, it's supposed to be her mother's dress, you know, but of course her mice friends kind of doctored up a little bit. All right, so her shoes are in here. So we have two little pink shoes with pink bows. There's some trim around the shoes. These are very beautiful. Can't wait to see these on her. Very nice. What else do we have? The beads. The beads are in a plastic pack. 
It says American Girl. Of course, we'll have to open that. Seems really small, but um, I forget this is made for a doll. So, and then there's a clasp here. So basically what you have to do is just kind of snap these things together and then it becomes a necklace. That is very pretty. We also have more accessories. The pink dress was obviously where most of the quality came from, but you know, there's a few other things. Here is her dressmaker's book. I'm guessing this was in her attic, you know, maybe with her mother's things that has little flowers and sparkles on it. Um, that's like some sewing gear. Beautiful. I'm guessing that you can like read through it. Oh. Dressmaker's book. No way. All this like original art in here. Different types of stitching. Oh, and then there's uh, paper for notes. Different patterns. Ah, this is the famous uh, photo that we know. How cute. Of course, the more you open it, the more it's gonna stay open. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Take some photos with that. Um, and then this is her pink headband that goes around her head. Um, that's straight from the film, of course. Actually, I think her bow in the film was white. Yeah, I think it was white, but this, this works, of course. <laughs> and last but not least, there are just a few little more sewing essentials. First, we have the tape measure and the uh, sewing scissors. So let's just take these out. The ruler is the fabric ruler, you know, that they use for sewing and looks like it measures up to 15 inches. <laughs> and there's little uh, decorative uh, brown pieces on the end, you know, to make it look like a real measuring tape. Hey, I mean, I think Cinderella could definitely use something like this and her mice. <laughs> and uh, the last item we have here is this beautiful little pair of scissors that uh, I guess are shears that you use for sewing. Look at the little details on that. And no, oh, oh, I thought that you couldn't use them, but I guess you can. No way. Of course, they're not sharp or anything, but you know, that'd be a hazard. But yeah, you can just snip, snip, <laughs> whip it. All right, so next order of business is to get Cinderella in this beautiful outfit. Okay, so we have taken the clothes off of Cinderella, and I put those back into the coordinating box. But here she is again in her blue undergarment. <laughs> so what we will do is get this pink dress on her first, because that is the main garment. And I just have to say how beautiful this is. And I am so thrilled to just see what this is looking like on her. I think with this dress, the marketing is very strange. You know, you never really see this. So just them creating this for kids to recreate and adult collectors is amazing. You know, we still don't have a limited edition doll in this dress. Um, we have a designer set, of course, but we do not have the uh, limited edition 17 inch doll. I'd say maybe sometime in the future in this uh, gown, but the designer set made by the Disney store of Lady Tremaine and Cinderella in this dress is just stunning. So of course she has some Velcro closure back here. We want to make sure all that lines up that way that um, the dress looks right. Okay, this dress is gorgeous on her. Look at this. It's beautiful. Um, I think this dress is superior to the, to, to the day dress or the cleaning dress, whatever they're calling it. I love that. That is just beautiful. I love the pink. I love the bows. You know, all of it is just such nice quality. I just can't believe that they made this. You know, it's beautiful. <laughs> all right, of course. So there's all kinds of other things that we want to get on her, but my first priority is probably her shoes. <laughs> so we'll just put these ruffles up. Looks like, yeah, looks like they're, the two shoes definitely have a left or a right. 
The American Girl feet, I'm always so scared that it's gonna like rip open the shoe just because the feet look ginormous compared to the shoes. <laughs> so yeah, I think what we're gonna have to do, oh, I never noticed that she has a star on the bottom of her foot. Wow. Maybe to classify her as American Girl. Okay. If the shoe fits right, sticking with the Cinderella theme. Just have to line it up right. Okay, yes, after a little struggling, she did just want uh, her heel to bend down the back of that, uh, the shoe, and we don't want that to happen, but look at how stunning those two pink shoes are. So adorable, right? Oh my gosh, you know, and now maybe she can stand a little level now that she has some beautiful little ball gown shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, we, we don't really get to see mostly what if Cinderella's shoes look like in this outfit, so it's glad to know that it is something beautiful. Um, I had no doubt, of course. <laughs> so there are several other pieces here that we just need to consider, just given that um, to uh, complete this outfit. Next, what we are going to do is put the beads on, and these are the famous beads that the mice uh, steal from the stepsisters for Cinderella to wear. And of course, uh, the, the evil stepmother, she points that out to the stepsisters and, and what leads to them ripping them off of her. But, um, so basically there is a little piece of plastic around Cinderella's neck already, and that was from her choker. It's a very close fit. I'm having trouble getting that to go all the way around. So it's just, uh, it's, it's just about there, you know, so it's, you're gonna have to take a little bit of a struggle to do that. It fits very tight. I am really struggling with that, so honestly, I just had to drape the beads over her neck just because, uh, they're not, uh, connecting in the back for me, so such a shame, you know. Um, maybe if it just had a few more beads, it would have worked perfectly. So, last but not least, we have her beautiful headband, which I'm going to plop over her blue sparkly one from her, uh, ball gown, just so it is able to, uh, protect her hair, because I, um, from changing her hair so much, it is possible that she is going to have a bad hair day, you know, coming up, <laughs> because, uh, you know, the more that you mess with it, the more that it kind of affects it, so, you know, um, so just kind of protecting that. How beautiful, you know, so we kind of want to get the bow, um, in the center, center the bow, you know, uh, <laughs> It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. This is this is a very, very beautiful doll. So let's decorate a little bit. All right, so we want to get her in a good spot, of course, that way we can take a good look at her. I also realized I have my one pink Cinderella doll up there, kind of looking down at her, you know, like that's my big sister. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately the beads made, I may just need to get like an extra little clip to put on those that way that they can actually be connected to her. Um, you know, and of course we want to have Cinderella taking some measurements, maybe, you know, um, actually we may even need some scissors just to make a few little alterations, right, of this dress. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you know, of course she can't actually cut anything with it. Um, and of course she's going to need her little dressmaker's book. Um, again, just look at how beautiful those little shoes are gorgeous. I absolutely love this, you know, and I'm glad that it wasn't torn to shreds by her evil stepsisters. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, that concludes my reviews of the Cinderella uh, American Girl doll and Cinderella outfit sets from the Disney store. I am in love with this. I think I'm going to have to get the other ones. Uh, not going to lie. I think that's going to happen very soon, but I also have exciting news that I purchased the Jasmine collector doll. I didn't get Rapunzel as she was the first to sold out, but I did get Jasmine and I will be doing a uh, boxed review of her soon. All right, everyone, stay tuned for more. Of course, subscribe if you have not. Like, comment. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.